Hello, happy April to my Virgos. Normally energy is not real fluent with me with the Virgo signs. I don't have a lot of Virgo in my life, but hopefully that will change the dynamics of my channel. Okay, so the holidays are coming in with Easter and whatever you believe in. There are some things that need to be done with grounding. So if you could hit like, share, and subscribe, my channel is based on mental awareness. Let's get into the read and see where Virgos are going this month. Thank you for welcoming and board and uh, being part of my channel. If it wasn't for you, my channel wouldn't grow and glow. So here, let's get into the reading. Death again, just like my Leos. You know that things need to be closed out, cycles in your life. You have clarity coming in regards to Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius with some fire energy that's being pushed through Aries season for you. You do know soon that you are the Queen of Cups. You're highly being guided to your intuitive side. Uh, at this point in time, your third eye chakra is probably opening up. You're becoming more aware of things that you didn't even know mattered to you or exist. And some um, victory in regards to your emotional status that you're moving forward from here. So you have a lot of reverse here, a lot of independent energy here. Uh, your heart chakra is moving forward. You're working on it. You're wearing speckle colored glasses at this moment in time, uh, but you're protecting your eyes. So you're not aware that the third eye chakra is opening up. Maybe you're having some headaches. Um, you're working on your emotional status. You are fighting some demons in your head. Uh, and you're also beautiful, but watching somebody either grieve somebody that died or someone you love lost a loved one and you know unfortunately they're not moving forward to you to share so you're feeling left out in the mix don't be everybody grieves differently and sometimes when you grieve a relationship maybe it was your time to shine and move out of a relationship that didn't serve you any longer but this person is beautiful and they have a scepter in their hand so they're very deceptive they are I don't know, maybe an envious or jealous person coming in, keeping an eye on you, working on you, becoming abundant and leveling up. It's just kind of a side note what I just got from Spirit. And then we have the Nine of Cups holding down the fort when it comes to you speaking your mind. Speak up. Become happy again. Go out and do things that you love again. You're a lot like Aries right now, coming out of some self-destructive energy, moving into the limelight, moving into fire, believing that your light is the path in which you need to serve for spirit. And then the magician, right? Your third eye, it's manifesting something. You are bringing in a new understanding and clarity of the gifts that spirit has given you. And you've gone through an awakening. This has been alone too. I mean, I, I think this has been a struggle with a relationship or someone who's died in your life. Um, and then the understanding keeps you up at night. You're still so confused. So you have the nine of cups, white, it's just coming in and you're still up at night worrying on worry and illness. What do I do? Did I make the right decision? Maybe drinking too much. Maybe I shouldn't have taken this person back. Maybe they hurt your heart, but you really need to take some time to stand up for yourself, Virgo. You really need to maybe get take a trip, move away. Um, just change the circle of influence in your life. Let's get into the clarification of that and see. Since you know that a death is occurring, right? You know that you need to close out a cycle in your life. What do you really need to work on, Spirit said for my Virgos? Come on, Spirits. What do you need to work on? I see your heart move forward. So happiness. You're not real good at that. It's in reverse. You're not good at seeing when you manifest that you deserve to be happy. I'm aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. So right now you think you were on the, you're on the wrong path. No, sometimes spirit pushes you out of the wrong path into the right path. So you're definitely headed in the right direction. It's just sometimes we don't see clearly until we're actually in it. You seem to be in the eye of the storm in the moment, right? Your money is good, but everything else isn't good. And pride, right? Clarification in regards to some passion. Maybe somebody coming back from the past. Do I take them back? Do I not? Do they really love me? Do they not? Um, your feelings are all out of whack. So I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Well, you know, somebody cheats on you there, buttercup. Uh, they obviously have no respect for you. And if they lie to your face and call you names behind your back, you would hope that spirit would remove that person so you don't go through this karmic lesson again. Uh, I don't care who the person is. If somebody walks out of your life, don't take them back. And I have something that flipped over. The Queen of Cups, who is, you know, magnetic force, someone who's worked intuitively on everything, make sure at the party everything goes well, make sure at work everybody has what they need. Um, failure. You can't do that. You hide it. You keep your insecurities inside. You have lots of friends, but they're really not your friends. Um, you're always trying to keep people at an arm distance, trying to know what they're doing next. You think they're your friends, but they're really not your friends. You're kind of out there on limbo all by yourself. I see this person is heavily drinking. You have your cup up like, whatever happens, happens. I'm going to do what I can do. I'm going to take this person back again on this journey. Um, but I'm drinking a lot and I'm hoping for the best. But you know what? It keeps me up at night because they're a cheater. And once a cheater, always a cheater. And if a man lies right to your face or a woman, walk 
away. Your intuition tells you, see the eyes of the wolf? They know before you do. That's that third eye chakra. That's what's opening up for you. The awareness that you deserve better. You might be the most awful person the whole way around. Now I'm getting ghetto. But don't take them back. If you want someone to break up with you, find somebody new to break up with you. Get a new failure. At least you'll try something new after that. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity learned. Yeah, learn from it. Stop taking shit back. The shit taker. That's what I see. The shit taker. This Virgo, shit taker. Huge strong Virgo energy. Always takes people back. Things because they love them. They don't love you. You're accessible. Change your ways. Moving forward from worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change the outcome. Move on. Stop drinking. Stop letting this person dictate your life. Work on you. This is so unbalanced. Virgo was so stable last year and the year before. And trust. There is no trust. You have to trust yourself first, your intuition, your gut emotion. You have to trust that your feelings send you into the right situation. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Well, you're not listening to yours. So spirit is saying, I'm working on your third eye chakra. I'm making you aware that you are manifesting bad if you don't manifest good. And you have the courage to walk away from what no longer serves you. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Well, you don't want to face fear that you're actually manifesting your own destruction. The woe is me's, the could is, the should is, the what is. Let's verify that nine of swords. That's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, worrying all night long. I got Aries on the table. You're worried about someone from the past who has part to do with this. We got you holding down the fort, but you're still needing clarity, closing out an old cycle, still in love with someone else, still think love is love in all the right places. No. Sometimes karmic is a love and it's you not taking care of yourself. It's drawing in the wrong person and thinking they loving you for the right reasons. You live in la la land. No more Willy Wonka here. The queen of cups can be fierce and dynamic, but you need to take your power back. Like if you did a friend dirty, obviously you're going to do a man dirty. And if you can't work on why these people keep leaving your life, then you need to take a reassessment check on the way you treat yourself and other people. Because they see you not treat yourself good and you're a drunk and you can't get your shit together, they're going to take advantage of you. That's not a friend. That's someone who can take from you whatever they feel is necessary. Regret. When you hurt other people, karma comes back. We got a lot of feelings here, a lot of emotions, a lot of up at night drinking. I know that I cannot change the past. And the past means 30 minutes ago. The past means three days ago. The past is when someone has enough nerve to tell you the truth as someone's watching you. A new lover, an old lover, a new friend, an old friend. If you don't trust it, walk away from what no longer serves you, Spirit said. Okay, is this about love, Spirit? Give me three cards. What does the Virgo need to work on here? Someone with strong Virgo energy, and it could be your moons in Virgo. Seeing this person as a Sagittarius sun and a Virgo, which makes you very unstable. Makes you professional, makes you smart, but so smart that a reconciliation is here. But guess what? It fell on failure and pride. You took the person back because you thought you were going to get even with somebody. That's sad. And guess what happens when you manifest that? Guess what happens? You have to heal the issues that are inside of you to really actually get loved. Someone telling you they love you and buying things because they fucked up and hooked up with someone you know or they dated somebody else or moved on and hurt you, call in your soulmate. Don't call in your karmic partner. Call in your soulmate. Call in the one that was made for you that's going to help you heal and trigger those emotions. The trigger doesn't stay for the long haul. The trigger is there to help you grow. And they got to go. What's the final outcome? Release your ex. Taking them back because of pride, healing family issues. That's on you. That's regret. That's courage. That's trusting yourself enough to know that you're better off without them. Release your ex and don't ever take abuse from anybody. If you make a mistake and ask someone for forgiveness, spirit wants me to talk about this. Respect yourself enough to take the apology and show them it changed behavior. Walk away from a circumstance that no longer serves you. So just because somebody comes in and buys you flowers don't mean they have the best intention to stay. Not when they're on social media cheating on you or they have such a need to be loved that they'll love anybody, even if it's abuse. That's why my channel is important. Yeah, narcissists don't get past me. People who want to use my time, it doesn't get past me either. Let's pull two cards for Spirit Set here. Two cards, one for the Virgo and one for the cross watcher you need answers for here. The person's taking you for granted. Door to spirit. Sport. Spirit's here. They want to help you. Someone from your past. Someone who passed away. Collaboration and a brand new beginning with a partner and walking away. Look, it didn't serve you there, sweets or misters. 
Spirit opened up a brand new opportunity for you to work on you. And in the meantime, this person walked away before. Don't think they won't do it again. If you leave the door open, guess what happens? They walk out. Very strange message today for my Virgos. Very. Because we're not really tight, but now we are. We got this thing for me to help you level up and move on with your life. One card for Virgo. Got two. Growth and action. Moving forward. Set out as a mentor guide. Take baby steps as you grow. Be willing to learn from others. Take the heed of friends who've walked away and family members because they walked away because obviously there was something in you that needed to be fixed. Doesn't make you a bad person. My eyes are wide open now, just like the wolf behind me. I know when deception comes in. I can feel it. I'm highly intuitive. Action. New is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. Don't ever use your ignorance against someone else. Spirit says we all work in unity here. On my channel, it's to help with the abuse. So if you're an abuser, stop abusing someone else because you're hurt. If your mom and dad left you as a child, look, learn from that lesson. I did. I was abused as a child. And I don't even think that, the, that my mother knew she was doing it because she had so much hurt inside of her. I've forgiven her. You know, but you have to walk out in faith. You have to walk out and know that you answer for you at the end of your life. And if you're somebody throwing stones at someone else's house and you're not mastering your own skill, you are no better than anyone else. I saw the intention in there. It takes a step in the right direction. You should say sorry to the people that you hurt. Not everybody has malicious intent. And sometimes spirit does things in a weird way to show you the truth about who you really are. So when you pull a you on somebody, they really don't like that. So I'm sensing a lot of anger here in this Virgo reading. I'm sensing in the month of April, a lot of things need to be reconsidered, reevaluating your life differently. This is strong Virgo energy. It's not a Virgo sun, it's Virgo moon. It's someone who has not transpired or grown from the mistakes they've made in their life and they keep having this vicious cycle of abuse. And judgment brings karma. So anybody in Virgo who really needs some spiritual healing and guidance, please reach out in regards to chakra, your heart chakra moved up during the reading. Um, in order to shine like a diamond, you have to really love yourself enough to know what doesn't serve you and what you need to walk away from. 487 Facebook friends are not your friends. Maybe even four of them aren't your friends. But remember, if something wants nothing from you, that's the person you want in your life. And if they come back for a reason and it's vindictive and spiteful and fear, you also answer to that through pain. That's the way it works in karma. But here on my channel, it's about healing, growing, learning, loving, getting outside, getting into nature, really working on yourself. And spirit says, take a choice, take a step, you know, you choose you. Like, share, and subscribe. Remember, Outdoor Healing 1111. Thanks for stopping by. Happy, happy April. You got a lot of lessons to learn in April. A lot of people you need to ask for forgiveness. Forgive yourself first. If you need any advice, hit me up, youngnicole44 at gmail.com. If not, wish you love and light. Wish you all the joy and happiness. I hope this person doesn't hurt you again. Um, but sometimes you have to close the door. If you don't, someone will walk out. Close it before they walk out. Know what serves you best. Work on you, and then you bring abundance into your life. Have a great day. Bye-bye.